Hi, in this video we're going to talk about getter and setter methods. So let's review um, from last time. Instance methods let us define the behavior of objects by creating methods to be called on objects. And when we call an instance method, we are sending a message to an object. And at the bottom I have this line because this is the same idea about objects that we're sort of just going to keep repeating. An object is something that has both state and behavior. State and behavior. The state is represented by the instance variables. The behavior is represented by the methods. So how do we get access to those instance variables? Because so far, when we've created instance variables, they've always been private, meaning a client of the class can't get that value. So there are these special methods that let you get access to these variables to get or set their value. So introducing getter and setter methods. These methods let you get and set the values of instance variables as a client of the class. So a getter method lets you get access to some instance variables of an object. Getter methods can also be called accessor methods. So here I have a small example of using a getter method. At the top, we have the instance variables on the rectangle class, private in width and private in height. And here I have a getter method to return the width. So it's called public int get width. And all it does is return width, which is that private instance variable. So there's a convention for getter methods, uh, like the one above. And the convention for getter methods is to name them get plus the name of the instance variable. So get blank. So if you want to return the name, uh, you know, the value of an instance variable called first name, you would name that method get first name. So now on to setter methods. A setter method lets you set the values of instance variables of an object. Setter methods can also be called modifier methods. So here's a small example of using a setter. So at the top I have the instance variables on the rectangle class, private int width and private int height. And I have a setter method called public void set width and takes a parameter called int new width. And it sets width, the value of the instance variable, equal to new width. So it's changing the value of our instance variable. And there's a similar convention on setter methods, which is to name them set plus the name of the instance variable. So set blank. So if you want to uh, set the value of an instance variable called first name, you would name the method set first name. So you might be asking, why should you use getters and setters? And there's a lot of reasons to use getters and setters, and a lot of them become clearer even more as your applications get larger and more complicated. Here's just a few. Um, one is validation. If you want to get, uh, you know, get the value or change the value of an instance variable, you might want to check some things to make sure that you know, it's all working. Two, you can hide internal representation. So this provides a really nice abstraction. And there's this repeated idea in classes and object-oriented programming that you don't, you, know, you don't need to give all the information to the client. And so when a client can call a getter method you know, or a setter method, this actually lets you hide, um, hide, hide information. So there's actually something called information hiding. That's what you're doing here. Um, you may need to add more logic to these methods uh, when the getters and setters get more complicated and safety. Um, you can control better what a client has access to. Um, so those are some of the reasons. Let's go in, write these methods in our editor. So here we have our rectangle class and program from earlier. And what we're going to do is add some getter methods. So first, we'll write a getter method for width. So we'll say public int get width. And what that will do is just return the width. And then we'll also write a getter method for the height. And what that will do is return height. So what this is doing is it's returning the values of those instance variables. So if I go into our rectangle tester, where I've created a couple rectangles, um, what I'll do here is I'll write system.out.println r1 height, and we'll print out um, r1.get height. So Right here, this is an example of actually calling that getter method. So we'll run this code. Great, so you can see it prints out that the height is two. And if we do this same line of code, but we do it with a different rectangle, so I'll say we're looking at r2 height and r2.get height, you'll see that it will print out different values. 
right? Because the height of rectangle one is two and the height of rectangle two is 15. So now let's do another example with getters and setters. So here we have our student uh, program from earlier with our student tester. What we're gonna do is add some getter methods and setter methods for the student. So first we'll write the getter methods. So first we'll say public um, string get first name. And what that will do is just return first name. Then we'll write one for last name. So we'll say public string get last name. And we'll return last name. And then we'll say public int um, get grade level. And we'll return grade level. And we have a new instance variable uh, called GPA. And we'll do um, a getter for GPA. So we'll say get GPA. And we'll return GPA. Great, so those are our getter methods. And now what we'll do is we'll write a setter method for the GPA. So what this is, this will be public void set GPA, and it will take in as a parameter a double call of the GPA. And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna set the instance variable GPA equal to the GPA, which is the parameter passed in. So let's just take a look here for a second. These are the getters and setter method. Um, they just they'll return the instance variables, and this one allows us to change the value. So now we'll go into student tester and use this. Okay, first let's start off by calling set GPA. So we'll say allen.setGPA to be 3.5. And then we'll try using our getter. So we'll say system.out.println um, allen.getFirstName. And then we'll also try calling the getter getGPA for allen. And then for ADA, let's also try testing out um, ADA dot get first name. So let's run this. And there you go, you see that we can get some of these values of our instance variables. So this is an example here of using getters and setters.